Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the Crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're accomplishing something. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Nothing motivates a soldier like losing their home. Trying to take it back makes an even better one. You take care, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories, at which you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? That's all. Of course, Commander. What was that all about with the Primarch? Turian's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Ah, uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them, or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. If I'm gonna play a game, I need something a bit more exciting. Well, I doubt it compares to lobbing a grenade at a charging Krogan. Few things do. But it also results in fewer broken bones. Commander, whatever you did on Tachanka has the Turians sending a lot of messages. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week. And it would be wrong. Commander? The 
Centurions will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <sighs> so that went well. Glad to see that Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission to the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not once. Commander? I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability of surviving as long as you have is low. Hello, Shepard. Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Hey Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Doesn't hurt to go over the weapon roster one more time. Shuttle's primed for the next drop. Primark's son is in over his head, no? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? and drug money. Tonight, we look at the true face of Cerberus. New files from an anonymous source lay open their dark history. Their tools? Bullets, poisons, even radioactivity. They can make murders look like cancer. The truth finally sees light inside the battle space. Commander. The elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You love whiskey. Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac, and you've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli Scotch. Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. 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 Nothing to report. I heard about the events on Tachanka. You should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. 
I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried him in sand up to his neck, and let their wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. The Turians are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. Tuchonka was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. I am with my own thoughts. Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean Doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that, huh? So, Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. Hello, Shepard. Turians on a secret mission to Tachanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tachanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. Not right now. I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rates. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thresh, a ma with shotgun blasting, roaring raw, than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiaga in her veins. Off to fight since Turians can't, with diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For. She is the Krogan Queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan Queen. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan Queen. <laughs> Still prefer patter songs. Of course. I really had to twist your arm. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. What can you tell me about the Shroud? Climate regulator. Counteracts radiation damage to Tuchanka's atmosphere from nuclear war. Particles emitted from main tower form layer that mitigates ultraviolet bombardment, prevents atmospheric escape of necessary elements. And your people put it up? Yes, when uplift process began. Demonstration of goodwill to Krogan, stabilize climate, impress population. Combined with technological gifts, easy to gain Krogan support against Rachni. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. 